Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to an update video for Attila Total War or Total War Attila and un unfortunately it's bad news this time depending on how you look at it in my previous video I did an update saying why I hate DLC from three days ago as you can see here it was nice to get a bit of uh, discussion amongst you guys and to get your points of view and most of you tended to agree with what I what I said in, in, in the video what my opinion was and that is that there's too much DLC in video games on top of that I've also recently been doing uh, Total War Tiller news and information so the factions have been announced Saxons the Sassanid Empire Ostrogoths etc and I've been making two to three minute videos just detailing like the basic information and what I think of these factions well today I come home from work, I go on my computer, and I see that Total War Attila has a Viking Forefathers Culture Pack. So, my thoughts on this are... I'm going to turn the volume down so you can just watch it while I'm talking. Um, but basically what the DLC thing is, we have Day 1 DLC, and the game isn't even out yet. The game is due to be released February the 17th, 2015, so only a few months away, not, not long guys. And I said in my Saxon video that the Vikings, you know, it, I watched the Vikings TV program and I wouldn't mind playing as a Vikings faction. And I, you know, I was hoping really for, for you know, after a few days after the game is released to have perhaps the Danes or the Geats uh, as a, you know, as a unlockable faction. They did it with Rome 2, many of the factions in Rome 2 had uh, day one or a few days after release they had the mod, the faction unlock mod. And I was hoping perhaps to do that. But now we have it... You know, basically the whole Greek thing all over again, which is the thing I hated the most with Rome too. You have the Geeks, you have the Geeks, sorry, the Geeks, uh, the Danes, you know, as unlockable or as DLC factions, and it's just, it's just frustrating. You know, and the Jutes there, as you can see as well, the Jutes, you know, three factions. Most people would probably like to play as Viking factions. You know, to to invade Europe with your axemen, your battle axes, your round shields. You know your berserkers and to to march around Europe trying to trying to conquer and trying to wreak havoc all over the place is what people want to do and unfortunately it's going to be DLC uh, I'm not quite sure how much this DLC actually is uh, doesn't say pre-order it just says pre-order at the moment so it's a pre-order bonus Oop, I just pressed the wrong button oopsie daisy let's just pause that uh, I pressed the it's a pre-order bonus so I'm guessing that it's going to be like the Greek states where it's free. Oh God! Pause. Fucking hell. <laughs> that is one weird mouth. Uh, I'm going to go back to my channel. <laughs> it's probably like the Greek states where if you buy the game, if pre-order the game, you will have it for. You won't have to pay for it. I say I won't say you have it for free because it, it actually does cost because you have to buy the game in the first place. But you see what I mean. You know, you get the faction for free. You don't pay anything for it if you if you uh, pre-order. And I think this will be the same thing with the Vikings the Viking factions you know it'd probably be I think it's six is six ninety nine or five ninety nine I think the price was for the Greek states or it is currently for the Greek states so I am assuming it'll be probably the same price if you want to buy the Vikings after and this is the thing which I hate because I wasn't a hundred percent certain if I wanted to get Total War Tiller if I'm being totally honest I have said in in some of my update videos on the game that I'm not going to pre-order this game I don't want to to uh, jump in uh, I wanted to leave it a couple of days just to see what people are saying about it when people review the game and when people actually you know upload start uploading some videos on the game some of the other big youtubers out there um, and I wanted to see you know what the game actually looks like what it plays like how it handles have creative assembly learned from the mistakes etc etc and now one of the factions that I want to play as the most is now going to be pre-order bonus and it's just so oh, I don't know it's just so frustrating um, I imagine many people have the same thoughts with Rome 2. It's different for me with Rome 2 because I had a different mindset back then, back in uh, 2013, back September 2013 when I pre-ordered Rome. I was excited all summer. I was up uploading loads and loads of uh, update videos and faction vote videos. Um, probably a bit with a bit more enthusiasm because it was Rome, you know, it, it was it was the big one. It was the one set 10 years after the after the original Rome Total War. And it, it just kind of it uh, kind of uh, failed in many aspects and I think it disheartened many fans it certainly disheartened me to a, to a degree I'm not going to go into the whole Rome 2 thing because that could easily take up one, its own video or, or whatever on my own opinions on it but yeah going back to Attila I'm unhappy about this you know, I'm really unhappy about this announcement um, 
it's just frustrating. I mean, if there was a if there was an opportunity to get a mod when the game was released, then I would have used that. But you know, <laughs> do I, now it's like a case of do I want to pay thirty pound for the game and have it free on release day, or do I want to wait a few days and then pay extra? So it's just bullshit, absolute bullshit, and. This is why, again, you know, another example. This could have easily gone into my my previous video of why I hate DLC, and yeah. But anyway, um, I'm not going to turn this into a whole rant or moan video or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this announcement. Are you excited for Total War Attila? Will you be playing as the factions, and will you be pre-ordering this game? I've been Dragonheart. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.